show in this no name lawsuit, uh, either Alvarez, uh, you know, Yari or, um, you know, like Aria, it, there's not, there's not a, a brand name on it, but just judging from being, you know, in the guitar business for 40 years, it's definitely got that Alvarez, Yari or really great Aria tone. I think I'd, I'd go with more like it's a, it's definitely made in Japan uh, in the in the 60s or 70s, but this guitar is amazing. It's got the, the three-piece back, like a Martin D35, which they did to get more orchestral tone. And uh, this guitar just sounds amazing. It's really going to be a difficult one for me to let go of. I, probably one of my good customers will buy it that understands when I say a guitar is really special. It's really true. This is the kind of guitar you find once in a lifetime, maybe twice if you're really lucky. But I, I, I actually just got this today, and I was really, really lucky to get it. Uh, it hasn't been played in probably 30 years, so it's going to open up even more, but hopefully you can hear this. It really has a nice sound. These strings are stretching, so I'm not going to fight them too much. What's really cool is the neck. I don't know if you can see it, but the neck it's not a baseball bat neck, but it kind of reminds me of an old Gibson L7 or something. Uh, it, it just it has some meat to it. I've got medium sized hand. It's very comfortable, but it really has has a, a nice feel and it adds to the tone. There's some really nice soaking patterns that go across. And I wanted to mention before I forget, these had super old 30 year old strings. I took an end pen out today with the old strings, and when I popped the end pen out. The whole guitar just went <laughs> and kind of hummed. I was like, whoa, I think I got a good one here. That, that's a really good sign, and it does, does not happen often. But yeah, the three-piece back adds a lot of tone because the maple adds a certain, uh, a certain you know, uh, kind of mid-range and high-end pop, and then the Brazilian wood adds a depth and a, and, a, and a rich, kind of a Martin richness to it, and then sandwiched to the mahogany. Mahogany is ex extremely mid-range, beautiful, beautiful mid-range tone. And so you add all that together, you get that kind of pianistic overtones and that kind of Alvarez Yari uh, overtones that kind of pop out that, that, that sound really orchestral with really good holographic bloom and not just that kind of compressed sound. Most acoustic guitars are very weak in the mid-range. This thing just, man, this has got the piano-like mid-range uh, married to a really good bass and treble. It just has a tremendous voice. It really does. I don't know if you can see the wood on this. I've got workers over here today, so I'm going to keep this demo short because they're going to start painting probably pretty any minute here so uh but anyway yeah i just wanted to, at least i know i've got some really good customers that i've already emailed about this that really want to just hear anything so and i've got tens on that's all i had laying around Just put these on. Can you hear that growl? Th this guitar reminds me of a really great, I mean really great, don't let my enthusiasm scare you off, I know guitars folks. This reminds me of a great, great Alvarez meets a great Martin D a D35 or something. It's got some scratches here in the back of the neck, but uh, yeah, man, this is a special guitar and the wood is just absolutely gorgeous on the back. I'm going to keep this demo really short. I'll make another one because I've got several people that want to hear it. But I just wanted you at least hear a little bit here. These are 10. got this kind of mountain mountain reverb this woody mountain reverb with the with like i said that kind of yari made in japan 70s yari alvarez tom this this is a really nice guitar mm -hmm. 
Um, plays pretty damn good too. And there's more room in the saddle. If you want to have somebody sand the bottom of the saddle down, you can bring it down a little bit more. It's it's fine for me right now. Everybody likes the guitar a little bit different. may put on just slightly heavier strings on the E and the B just to bring out just to kind of give it a little bit better feel but man I just want you guys to hear it hear those overtones that pianistic overtone that says it all right there that, that could be the demo right there Like I can hear like like extra intervals and triads in those overtones. Man, that's a sound, man. <laughs> I rest my case. I'll come back and do another demo. This one's gonna be really sharp. But yeah, this this is a very, very special guitar. Like I said, one of my good and it's got some good soaking patterns on the top, which is indicative of a really good species of wood. And uh, yeah, this really has a tone. Really has a nice combination, like I said, of a kind of Martin Woody Magic vintage Martin D35 tone married to kind of an Alvarez Yari tone. It's, it's, this is a lot of guitar, man. All right, folks. So uh, like I said, I'll probably do another demo. It's got, like I said, it's got some scratches, you know, some kind of dings on the back of the neck here. It doesn't really bother me. And uh, the back looks pretty damn nice, man. I don't, uh, th there's probably a dinger. Yeah, there's a couple dings, probably two or three dings on the back. Uh, but yeah, this guitar looks pretty, kind of overall pretty clean, man. It's got some dings on the, on the top and everything. It's not a new guitar, but uh, it's really, somebody took pretty damn good care of this guitar, you know? But again, like the whole thing is just, you can hear that overtones. <laughs> hasn't been played in over 30 years, so it's really getting, you know. I'm gonna stop right there. Take care, folks.